Hey, what's up guys? Chris McCarthy here with McFit Method and this is your workout of the day. Now before we get started into this workout, make sure you subscribe to this channel down below. I try to post new videos every single day and I don't want you to miss any of this content. And then also in the description down below, I've linked up some of my fat burning and uh, strength training challenges down below. So make sure you can go ahead and click on those and join those as well. All right guys, let's get into today's workout. And today's workout is going to be four rounds and it's gonna start off with 15 dumbbell deadlifts. So I'm gonna head back here. I'm gonna grab two relatively heavy uh, dumbbells. And I'm gonna set these down on the ground here and we're gonna get into a nice deadlift position, which means our feet should be about hip width apart here. And toes uh, not really pointing directly straight forward, just to point it out just a little bit. Now to initiate this first dumbbell deadlift, you're gonna keep that chest up, shoulders back, and you're gonna to start to hinge at those hips. Then you're gonna send that butt back and you're gonna go down and start to go down in this squat position. Knees should be tracking out over those toes. We don't want them caving inwards. And the dumbbells are at the sides of our feet. Once we get down into this full squat position, this is where we're gonna go ahead and grab these dumbbells. Now at this point, you're really gonna engage those hamstrings, gonna engage those glutes, keeping the arms straight the entire time. And you're gonna be on the balls of your feet and you're gonna press out of that deadlift, coming all the way up, you, once again, using your hamstrings, uh, using your glutes to press out of that. Full extension at the top, grabbing those dumbbells, holding those dumbbells in position, and then slightly rolling those shoulders back to your full extension all the way at the top. Once you're at full extension at the top, you're then gonna reverse that, hit, sending those hips back a little bit again, going to that squat position, knees trekking out over those toes, setting those dumbbells down until they just touch the ground again, and then you're gonna go back up with another, another one of those deadlifts. And like I said, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do 12 of these dumbbell deadlifts today. So back here in position, I'm gonna get into this, uh, send those hips back, squatting in those position, Knees are tracking out over those toes, keeping that chest up, I'm gonna grab these dumbbells. Now that I've gotten those dumbbells, I'm gonna engage those glutes and those hamstrings. I'm gonna press through the floor, all the way up to full extension, rolling those shoulders back slightly at the top. Now I'm gonna reverse that by hinging at the hips again. Knees are tracking out over those toes, going all the way to the down, touching those dumbbell uh, heads of the dumbbell to the ground, then pressing all the way up, then back down. And we're gonna do 12 of these dumbbell deadlifts. Now, once you've completed 12 of those dumbbell deadlifts, now you're gonna set those dumbbells down off to the side, and you've completed the first part of the strength component of this workout. Well, you've completed 12 of those. Now we're gonna go ahead into the conditioning and the fat loss component, which is with the jump rope, and we're gonna grab that jump rope, and we're gonna do 100 rotations of that jump rope. So I'm gonna head back here, grab my RX Smart Gear jump rope that I have ready to go here, and we're gonna do 100 rotations of this jump rope. Now proper form here, keeping those feet together, jumping on the balls of our feet, elbows should be in close to your sides, rotating that rope just with the wrists, not a lot of movement here at the elbow joint or at the shoulder joint, hands should be slightly in front of your hips, chest up, shoulder back. I'm gonna initiate the first swing of that jump rope, and you'll notice I'm just jumping just enough off the ground to clear that rope, elbows are in close to my sides, I'm rotating that rope just with my wrists, now you notice it's more of a bounding motion. So I'm bounding up and down. I'm not bringing my knees up, I'm not kicking my legs back, I'm not piking my feet forward. Just 100 rotations of that jump rope. If you wanna go ahead and intensify this workout, you can do what's called double unders, which is two rotations of that jump rope for every jump. And you can also intensify the workout a little bit more and, bring, and generate a lot of speed by doing a little bit of a run in place. So you're just alternating right, left, right, left, and you can really generate a lot of speed and intensify this workout even more. Either way, whatever movement you choose on there, you're just gonna do 100 rotations of that jump rope. Once that is complete, you are then gonna set that jump rope down, and then we're gonna move into the next strength component of this workout, which is going to be 12 dumbbell shoulder press. So we're gonna do this at the same time. I'm gonna leave my heavy dumbbells over here. I'm gonna go a little bit lighter here on these dumbbells. And these are strict press, so we're not doing a push press, we're not really relying on our lower body at all. So go a little bit lighter on these. So I'm gonna get these two dumbbells, I'm gonna bring them up in the front rack position, palms are facing each other, chest up, shoulders back. You're in a nice squat stance here, maybe bend the knees just slightly so you're not fully locked out here, and you're just gonna strict press them all the way up, and then come all the way back down, really focusing on that negative. We don't want them just to drop. Press them up slowly, lock them out at the top, and then come all the way down. So two dumbbells here, up in the front rack position, palms facing each other. I mean, a nice squat stance, knees are bent slightly, press them all the way up overhead, and then slowly bring them back down, focusing on that negative. Press them all the way up, and then all the way back down. We're gonna end up doing 12 of these strict shoulder presses today. Then once you've completed 12 of those shoulder presses, 
We're gonna go back to the fat burning and conditioning component of this workout, which is that jump rope. And we're gonna do another 100 rotations of that jump rope. Then after you've done that, we're moving into the final strength component of this workout, which is gonna be nine close grip dumbbell floor press. So I'm gonna use, um, I'll use the 20s that I have down here right now. And it's basically like a push up. Uh, but we're gonna be working the chest today and we're keeping them close in. So we're gonna be uh, working the center of the chest. So I'm gonna set these down on the ground, touch the dumbbells together, they are close grip, and then get in a nice plank position. Now this plank position, feet are close together. We're making sure that we are straight line from our neck down to our ankles. We don't wanna have our hips sagging down or piking up. And then also we wanna make sure that our elbows and our, our, our wrists, our elbows and shoulders are all in line, a nice vertical line here. We don't wanna be back behind the dumbbells or up over the top of the dumbbells. So nice uh, vertical line, everything is in alignment there. You're gonna get in this plank position, and from this plank position, you're then gonna keep those elbows in close to your sides. You're gonna press the chest down until it touches the dumbbells, and then press it all the way back out to full extension. All the way down, all the way back up. A few more here, all the way down, press out of that. Now you notice, keeping those elbows in close to my sides. We're not flaring them out. So keep those elbows in close to your sides the entire time, all the way down to your chest touches that dumbbell, and then press out of that. Now if you need to modify these a little bit, you can go from the knees. Uh, but once again, even though you are going from the knees, make sure you're not back here. Make sure you are over the top of these dumbbells, uh, and you have that nice vertical line here. So you can do them from the knee position, all the way down, press all the way up all the way down, press all the way up. Makes it a little bit easier if you're unable to do your standard push-ups in that plank position. So once you've completed that, then you're gonna go ahead and grab that jump rope one last time for this round, do another 100 rotations of that jump rope, and then you're gonna go ahead and rest for one minute. After that one minute of rest is over, that is completed one round of this workout, and like I said, we're gonna do a total of four rounds today. So that is the MCFIT Method workout of the day. Hope you guys enjoyed this workout. As always, make sure you do subscribe to this channel so you make sure you see all the videos, and then check out the links down in the description if you wanna join some of my 21-day fat loss and strength training muscle building challenges as well. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this workout, and I'll see you right back here tomorrow in the MCFIT Method Gym.